I'm sitting on my friend's couch several months in and being intentionally single and celibate for the first time since I was 20 years old. 20 years old when I believe sex had to involve a dude and the word screw. I'm telling my friend about the psychic who said, I'm going to meet the love of my life by the end of January. It's January 10th, and I am so far from ready for Cupid, that naked little shit, to fire anything sharp my way. So far from ready to be the kind of crazy only love makes me. My friend musters every bit of new age jargon she can fit onto her tongue and says, what if you are the love of your life? I think, oh my God, I hope that's not true because I am absolutely not my type. But let's say for a moment I am. Let's say I am my dream girlish, boyish girl. And I'm standing on my front step, ringing my own doorbell, waiting for me to answer so I can hand myself a mason jar full of water lilies I have rescued from a millionaire's Monet. Let's say I am so charmed by the radiance of my own anarchy. I invite myself in for tea, and when I'm not looking, I sneak the steam from the kettle into my pocket so the next time I am missing the coast of Maine, I can give myself the fog. Let's say... I'm not just running my mouth around an old cliche that says we gotta love ourselves. We don't. I know I can keep getting down on myself till I'm tucked in my grave, looking up at my name, carved in stone, wondering why I never knew I've been cast to the lead in my own life. When it comes to love, the only thing I'm certain of is you are the best thing that has ever happened to you. Whoever you are, you're a quitter, great, there's plenty worth quitting. A sore loser, who isn't? You got no discipline? Maybe discipline is for bodybuilders and closeted gay monks. Picture a magician, so attached to being perfect, he cuts off his own legs just to pull off the trick. Picture the 738 selfies I deleted before I took one I was willing to show to the world. Picture me wishing I could have all of those back, my so-called flaws in stacks like baseball cards. I know will be worth something someday like tenderness like compassion like my capacity to think myself a catch just because I've never seen a chandelier I didn't want to swing from because I'd maybe go to space just to know if railroad tracks look like zippers from the moon on days I have a hard time keeping warm in my own weather I imagine what the first flower said to the first human trying to name half its petals love me not no that is not how anything grows of all the violence I've known in my life I've not known violence like the way I've spoken to myself and I've seen almost everyone around me hold that same belt to their own backs and ambush of every way we have decided we are not enough than looking for someone outside of ourselves to come close Clean that treason up. If I were to ask myself out of that cycle, I might say, listen, I am still going through my growth spurt. I am still yet to get my worst tattoo. I am still clearing the smoke from burning the toast I wrote for my own wedding day. I am still trying to get rid of my mirror face, look myself dead in the eye. I know Facebook is a lousy mortician desperately trying to make us all look more alive. I know there are things I haven't survived. I know there are people who have had to work to survive me. I don't ever want to take that lightly, but I want the heavy to anchor me brave, to anchor me loving, to anchor me in something that will absolutely hold me to my word. When I tell Cupid, I intend to keep walking out to the tip of his arrow, to bend it back towards myself, to aim for my goodness, to the muscle in my chest tears, from the stretch of becoming what I came here to be a lover of whatever got covered up by the airbrush the truth of me that beauty of a beast chewing through the leash till I get a mason jar full of water lilies and I got a kettle full of sea and my whole life y'all my whole life is just a boomerang valentine coming right back at me thanks that felt fun to read <laughs>